Hey everybody, it's Sippy Cup. I wanted to show you guys a quick commentary video on a game called Gimbal. Gimbal is an indie space combat shooter type game. Um, so it's kind of similar to games like Starfarer. Um, it's a bit like Space Pirates and Zombies. The one major departure is it's got multiplayer. So I'm actually just in this video doing a single player match because the multiplayer is a little messed up right now. But this should give you kind of an indication of what the game is like. So here you can see it's not actually a spaceship, it's actually uh, kind of an aircraft here in the upper atmosphere of some planet. So aerodynamics do come into play and you're not really going to get too much of a sense of that with this ship because it's slow and fast. Or, sorry, <laughs> it's uh, slow and uh, not very maneuverable. But um, there you just saw basically you've got a scope for long range weapons. So this one is basically, I've assembled it, it's just kind of a, um, a gunship. I've got a whole bunch of miniguns on there. Then I've gone into scope view again. That is an enemy carrier that I was just shooting at there. And the carrier does have defenses. So typically the multiplayer games are team deathmatch. But if you destroy the enemy carrier, then you basically win the round automatically. So um, you kind of have two objectives. One, get as many enemy kills as you can. And here you can see another enemy just got inserted into the battlefield. And I got hit with some missiles. My ship is about to blow up. I'm not really trying to fight back right now because I want to respawn to something different. So here I'm going to switch to another ship. Now all of the ones that you see in gray there are ones that I've designed. The yellow ones were presets and then the red ones are um, ones that I've stolen from killing enemy players. Um, so here I'm going to come in with another jet that I designed. This one is a bit faster and more nimble. It has only two miniguns as opposed to four from the previous one, but you'll notice that this thing is a lot faster and more maneuverable. I've got a bigger sensor on there, and I should probably do a sensor ping here in a minute. You just saw me pop some flares there a minute ago. And there's a sensor ping. So your sensor has a passive range, which isn't really isn't really very clear, but it's basically like your detection radius, and it's modified by um, certain signatures on the enemy ship. But you can also do an active ping, which, while it reveals you, increases the range on your sensors. So here I've got a couple of miniguns on this thing that are on turrets. This thing goes so fast it's kind of hard to lead targets. But uh, you see I'm getting some hits off on that enemy carrier there. around to try to destroy some of these and actually end up murderer. team killing a bot in the process. You heard the computer call me a murderer there. It's true. Guilty as charged. I'm about to blow up here in a second and then I'll come back as yet another ship that I designed. This one is going to be I believe a slow moving heavy laser sniper type platform. This thing is not very maneuverable, but um, just in this video I kind of wanted to give you guys a sense of what kinds of different ships you could build and uh, you know how they handle differently based on the different characteristics. So here I'm scoping in. These lasers have really low uh, turn speed on the turrets because they're so heavy, but they do tremendous damage and I just wasted that thing. And I didn't realize at the time that the round was so close to being done, but uh, I just went to try to get some damage on this carrier. So that's pretty much it. I'll probably do a more in-depth Let's Play video later, but uh, I just wanted to get something quick out since there's not really too much uh, in the way of videos out for this game yet. It really kind of flew in under the radar. I was very surprised by uh, how achieved. well this game plays and how well it looks. Or how good it looks. Alright, so until next time.